Hi everyone, Refresh here. Before I begin this round of proper, we need to talk just a little about what constitutes standard American sized board game cards. This is because there appears to be multiple sizes considered standard American sized cards, and some sleeve manufacturers make all the sizes while others only make one of the sizes. So the first of these sizes is 56 millimeters wide by 87 millimeters tall. Games that have cards of this size are Munchkin, Shadows of Camelot, and Bonanza, among others. Manufacturers that make sleeves for cards of this size include BCW, Mayday Games, and Ultra Pro. At just slightly larger are cards that range from 57 millimeters to 58 millimeters wide by 89 millimeters tall. I've Combine these two sizes because they vary only by the slimmest of margins, and games that have cards of this size include Arkham Horror, Citadels, and Cosmic Encounter, among others. The manufacturers that make sleeves for cards of this size are BCW, Fantasy Flight, Game Plus Products, Mayday Games, and Ultimate Card. Before you purchase sleeves for your cards, you should be certain that they match the size of your standard American cards. Although if you don't mind a little extra space between the edges of your cards and the edges of the sleeves, you can always get the larger of the two standard American size sleeves. While I cannot confirm that the manufacturing processes for BCWs and Mayday Games sleeves of both of these standard American sizes will be identical. I'm going to move forward with this roundup and encourage you to share any experiences you might have with the sleeves not tested by me in this roundup in the comments so that other viewers might know. Okay, so like the Euro sized sleeves, standard American sleeves come in two grades, regular 100 micron thick sleeves and soft sleeves. And just like your size sleeves, only two manufacturers make soft sleeves for this size of card, Mayday Games and Ultimate Card. Mayday Games soft sleeves are by far the least expensive sleeves that you can get for your standard American size cards, in addition to being the more budget friendly option for soft sleeves at about two cents per sleeve. These are probably also the lowest quality sleeve overall. While I didn't have any problems with cards that didn't fit, the sleeves feel particularly thin and that they won't last particularly long. Ultimate Guard soft sleeves, on the other hand, are as expensive as some 100 micron thick sleeves. They are of significantly better quality overall in terms of uniformity and seeming long-term durability, but they are still thin soft sleeves. That said, those that prefer soft sleeves and want soft sleeves of the best quality, these are what you want to buy. If you're looking for the highest quality 100 micron thick sleeves, then you will want to consider Fantasy Flight and Game Plus products sleeves, both of which are roughly even in terms of overall uniformity, production quality, and apparent durability. Now of these sleeves, Fantasy Flight was the slowest sleeving and the fastest shuffle, while Game Plus products trades shuffling performance for an easier sleeving process. Also worth noting is that Fantasy Flight has a particularly long sleeve resulting in, in a little extra space at the top of the sleeve between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. Game Plus product sleeves are much closer to the top edge of the card. Finally, Game Plus product sleeves are about one cent less per sleeve. If you're looking for the best value in 100 micron thick sleeves, I would recommend BCW's sleeves in whichever size fits the game that you're looking for, since they make both sizes. These sleeves are the least expensive among the 100 micron thick sleeves at four cents of sleeves and can be even less expensive if you buy in bulk. They're not as quality out of the package with a little bit of warping, but they perform about as well as the other manufacturers sleeves and appear to be about as durable. Speaking of warping, Ultra Pro's similarly warped sleeves are not quite as nice out of the package as BCW sleeves as they have a little bit of plastic hair on the edges of the sleeves, but they somehow managed to tie for being the second most expensive sleeve with Fantasy Flight at six cents per sleeve. And since BCW trumps Ultra Pro in both price and general quality, I would prefer BCW. As for Mayday's premium sleeves, they weren't the total disaster that the Euro size sleeves were, but there was definitely an issue with consistency out of the package as the sleeves were a very sizes. What's more, the package featured a misproduced double sleeve and was also short one sleeve. And this lack of quality assurance within just one pack means it's hard to predict whether or not a pack of these sleeves you buy will actually work for you. And I don't think the middle of the road 
MSRP for these sleeves will alleviate that risk. So there you have it. If only soft sleeves will do and you want quality, then get Ultimate Guard soft sleeves for standard American board game size card. If you are want the cheapest sleeves on the market, get Mayday Games' standard sleeves. If you're looking for the best quality sleeves, you can choose between Fantasy Flight for longer sleeves and Game Plus products for shorter ones. Note, if you want a more precisely fitted sleeve for card size 56 by 78 millimeters rather than getting a somewhat larger sleeve, then I would say go with BCW. And BCW also represents the best value of the bunch, being a decent quality sleeve at a great price. Ultimate Guard Supreme sleeves are a bit expensive for what's roughly the same overall quality as Fantasy Flight and Game Plus products offering, so I wouldn't bother there. And Mayday Games' premium sleeves suffer from quality control issues, and that risk is not worth spending money on, in my opinion. If you have any questions about any of these sleeves, you can feel free to ask me in the comments. and. I have linked all the individual reviews of these sleeves in the description box below. If you have any experience with any of these sleeves, I've also linked a couple surveys in the description box below that you can click on and reply to with your experience with these sleeves in terms of consistency and durability. And if this video is helpful to you, please click on the like button for me. Subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews of card sleeves or other gaming products and games. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time.